I didn't know if you saw 72 doing a little bit of the salsa before the game and pregame warms. I saw it. I mean, kind of talk about his little uh, dance skills that he had because he was he was going for about a good five minutes. He looked like Gene Gene, the dancing machine from the Gong Show. Yeah, I mean, we're we're real fun to play with. As soon as we start winning, you know, it's a it's a great team, and we we came together. We have fun. That's all it is. I didn't even see that, but uh, we came out with swag and showed out. I challenge you guys to be the most physical football team you have ever been in your life. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I'm challenging you guys right here, right now. We walk in between the white lines. It's go. It don't matter what the score is, how much time is on the board. It's go. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Guys, go play our brand of football. When I was reversing, I was coming right back around. Right there at the one, my pants started falling and I started slowing down. Our coach just told us to come out like someone slapped our mama. And uh, we, we just we just showed out. We came out here being physical, you know. They tried to say that we weren't physical, and you know, our coach gave us some nice prep talk before the game. We came out here and just played uh, Smash Mouth football and been physical. This feature is presented by Fisher's Neighborhood Market, a proud supporter of all area athletics located in San Antonio and across the Hill Country. And by Hill Country Pool Management, where every splash is a Hill Country memory. Call 210-848-8516 or visit them at www.hillcountrypoolmanagement.com. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the local sports coverage that TV, radio, and bad web streams don't cover. If you're not sure how to do it, think about Little Richard. A bop bop a loopa, a whoop pa, bang! Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Big time matchup on the south side in 14 5A Division 1 as San Antonio Southwest visits South San Antonio. It's the biggest home game for the Bobcats in about 20 years. They're 5 and 1 on the season. A win tonight and they will have their first winning record in 20 years as they have had a hell of a bounce back year under head coach Phil Barone. As for Southwest, they are 5-0 to start the season. They have won their last 11 regular season games. That's the longest streak for the school since they won 16 in a row in the regular season, spanning the 08 and 09 seasons. Hey, it's always fun to be on the fun side of San Antonio. Let's check it all out, presented by Fisher's Neighborhood Market and Hill Country Pool Management. By the way, Southwest has won the last 14 in the series and hasn't lost to the Bobcats since 1996. That was also an Olympic and election year. Don't forget to vote for Mr. Bowtie. The next future star on the South Side might be South Sand sophomore Braden Booth. He will be one to keep an eye on the next couple of years. Southwest Tyson Dean is one you better be keeping your eye on now, otherwise you aren't likely to beat the Dragons. Hint, hint, South Sand struggled to contain him. No one, though, could contain this guy, Daniel Boykin. He's boogieing down during the pregame. He did this for almost four straight minutes. Gene Gene, the dancing machine from the old 70s TV show The Gong Show, didn't have have that much stamina. Uh, let's just say he had plenty to dance to during the game. Let's take you to the field with the Bobcats. I challenge you guys to be the most physical football team you have ever been in your life. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I'm challenging you guys right here, right now. We walk in between the white lines. It's go. It don't matter what the score is, how much time is on the board. It's go. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Guys, go play our brand of football.
funny as y'all know this. This is it for the touchdown. The game featured turnover issues with both teams having four each, South Sand early and Southwest late. The Bobcats had three in the first quarter and couldn't sustain a drive. The Dragon turnovers were more trick plays. Dragon defense held the Bobcats to 231 yards of total offense and beat South Sand 32-9 for their 15th straight win in the series and their 12th straight regular season win. Vets to this, I feel like. Um most respectful way. I, my team, we've all been playing for a very long time. We're pretty, we're used to these crowds, so it was a great atmosphere at first, but they got kind of quiet at the end. But, you know, we came out here and blocked out the noise and played our game. Our coaches told them that this is going to be a good game, and we had to set the tone, and we set the tone in the first in the first quarter. We put in a really hard week of practice, and we came out here and executed like our coach set it up. So we knew the play, we knew the play from last week. Uh, we we're going to come out here and just execute, and that's all we did, execute. When I was reversing, I was coming right back around Right there at the one, my pants started falling and I started slowing down. Our coach just told us to come out like someone slapped our mama, and uh, we, we just we just showed out. We came out here being physical, you know. They tried to say that we weren't physical, and you know, our coach gave us a nice prep talk before the game, and we came out here and just played uh, smash mouth football and been physical. South Sam will play South Side next week. most likely for the district title. Hey, I need more Jean Jean the Dancing Machine. Reporting from the fun side of San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.